Welcome everybody, this is uh, the Tackle Fleet. My name is Aito Itinen and I am the resident Ivy League um, Scout and uh, Tackling Instructor. Now that we have uh, dealt with navigation commands and we know how to more or less manually move our own ship, we are going to talk about damage application mechanics because as a tackle ship our main aim is to mitigate incoming damage. Speed is the best way to do that. So, let's talk about uh, missiles and rockets. Missiles and rockets are a very simple weapon system as they only apply damage while you are inside their range. Since we all have our uh, own tactical uh, overlay enabled, we are going to be seeing the range of our offensive uh, systems. So, in your ship, you can uh, hover with your uh, mouse pointer over one of your offensive modules. You are going to be able to see the bold and thick red line, which is going to be the optimal range of that offensive module. And if you zoom out a bit, you are going to be uh, seeing a faded red line, which is going to be the limit of your um, falloff for that offensive module. If you zoom out a bit more, you are also going to be seeing a red dashed line. The red dashed line is the limit of targeting range. So any ship that is within your targeting range, you can simply lock and uh, you will be able to start shooting it. As we said above, uh, missiles and rockets are going to be applying damage for as long as you are within their uh, range because they only have optimal range. Missile damage application depends on your absolute velocity, so not on your direction. And if you want to tackle a missile boat, you can uh, beeline, you can simply approach them. And uh, the faster you go in absolute terms, the less damage you are going to be taking from missiles. Gunnery-based weapon systems like projectiles, uh, hybrid Energy turrets, entropic disintegrators, and uh, Vortron projectors are different because they are based on tracking. Some of them also have a very long falloff range where they uh, apply considerably less damage, but it is possible to also completely avoid damage even while being inside their optimal range. All turrets have a tracking number assigned to them, and the higher the number, the better those guns can apply to ships that are orbiting them. So, the best way to mitigate this damage is to have a high transversal velocity. I am going to show that by uh, shooting one of my fleet mates. As you are probably seeing from the prompts on the screen, I am using a medium railgun hybrid weapon, which is... Uh, a weapon that has a very low tracking number and since my fleet mates are orbiting me I am unable to land uh, hits on them. Now I'm going to be shooting Spanky which is way further out and orbiting me at almost 22 kilometers and I am still missing all the shots that I'm trying to land on his ship. But the first thing that you are going to be noticing here is that as soon as Spanky's transversal dropped a bit, I managed to land one lucky hit on him. While high transversal mitigates incoming damage from guns, uh, we can also reach a blind spot by doing what is called as uh, getting under the guns of a ship. Meanwhile, Marek, which is really close to me, can start to uh, orbit me at, let's say, 500 meters. And basically, Marek is doing what is called getting under the guns of a bigger ship. If you get really close to a ship and orbit them very tightly, they will be unable to track your movements and they will miss all of their shots. So, to recap, to avoid damage from uh, gunships, uh, maintain the highest transversal velocity possible and or get under that guns. 
the maneuver that combines both, both of these things is called spiraling and it will be discussed again later. We spoke about missiles and we spoke about uh, turrets and the third most common weapon system in uh, EVE are drones. A drone behaves like an AI piloted ship. They have their own MWD and their own weapon systems based on gunnery. So all the tricks we tried against guns will work still fine. The difference is that while mounting smaller guns on a big ship is highly discouraged, having different drone flights of different sizes in bigger ships is uh, the norm. This makes light and some medium drones really dangerous for light tackle ships. The most common way to deal with drones is by killing them, but if you are in a tackle ship with no weapons, we are going to try another way. The easiest way to avoid drone damage is by simply outrunning them. I am now going to be using some hobgoblin ones to attack a fast small tackle ship. As you can see, my drones are going uh, after Spanky, which is flying uh, pretty fast, at around 4 km per second. And those drones cannot catch up with him. While they are unable to uh, catch up with him, they are unable to uh, apply damage to him, and that means that he is avoiding damage from those drones. Not all the drones, though, are this slow, and not all drone damage can be mitigated by simply outrunning them. Now I am going to use another set of drones that are way faster than the Hobgoblins. As you can see, Warrior 2s are a faster kind of drone, and they are going after Merrick, and they are immediately applying damage to him. If you are unable to fully outrun drones, there is another way to make them slower than you, and that way is by turning off their MWD by using your warp scrambler and shutting the MWD of the drone off, or you can web the other drone and make it lose velocity after a bit. Both of these ways uh, are going to make uh, hostile drones way slower than you, and they are going to allow you to mitigate a lot of the damage that is coming from them. As you can see in here, both of those drones are getting one of them scrammed and the other one is getting webbed. So they are unable to land more damage on Merrick. Another good thing that you can do while you are sure that another fleet mate has established a secondary point is to simply align out and have the hostile drones follow you. This way you are going to be able to pull the enemy drones away from the fleet and mitigate the damage that they are going to be applying to your own fleet mates. So, as we saw here, the scram and the web were enough to mitigate the damage coming from two drones and some of the most powerful drone boats, like the ones from the Gurista line, only use two drones because they are bonus for that, so uh, the Scram and the Web are a very powerful tool to mitigate damage to yourself and to your fleet. We learned that the best way to tackle a missile boat was to approach them at maximum velocity, since transversal wouldn't matter. Uh, this doesn't work for gunboats, and that's why you need a different maneuver to tackle them. That maneuver is called spiraling. We know our transversal is maximized if we move at a 90 degree angle with a faded line that connects us to the target, but we still need to get closer to tackle them. At the core, spiraling means maximizing both your transversal and the speed at which we approach our target. This is done by burning for our target with a 45 degree angle with a faded white line, using the tactical overlay as a reference for our angle of approach. We are going to demonstrate a more practical way to do this. If you have locked your target, it's going to be in the middle of a crosshair, where a horizontal and vertical thin line cross each other. Let's move our camera 
so that both our ships are sitting on that same horizontal thin line. Now let's maximize our transversal. And then double click with your left mouse button somewhere in the middle between both of our ships. Keep doing this at least once per second, adjusting your direction once per server tick until you are close enough to activate point. Depending on the distance, you might want to alternate overheat on your prop mod by shift clicking it, letting it run for a cycle and then shift clicking it again. If you want to always keep your heat on, you risk burning out your own prop mod. In these videos, we explained how to customize the overview to show the useful information we need as light tackle pilots, how propulsion jamming modules work, and how to mitigate damage from most of the weapon systems in EVE. More detailed explanations of specific mechanics can be found on the EUNI wiki. We are also going to link other useful videos on more advanced light tackle roles and broader manual piloting topics. Many thanks to my collaborators, Marek, Ross and Spanky, who helped transform a simple tackle class into an amazing video lesson. Until next time, fly fun!